Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for a very exciting video. I am filming a glow up get ready with me, which I'm so bloody excited about because I've not filmed one of these in the longest time and I feel like it's very overdue and I've actually got an event I'm going to tonight and I'm gonna do like a full transformation. I'm gonna talk you through my tan. I'm gonna talk you through how I remove hair on my body. I just have my nails done. This is what they look like, how? Flipping cute are they? I'm gonna do a little bit of skincare, hair care, my makeup routine, my full outfit for tonight. It's gonna be like a full before and after. So this is the before situation we're dealing with. This is it. I'm gonna do a 180, a 180, a 360. I don't know why, you can see the full before. And there will be a transformation hopefully. I'm so excited for this because I've not filmed something like this in a really long time. And I think with it coming up to like all the Christmas parties and festive time, I feel like most people are out like this time of year. Maybe you can put this video on, grab a glass of something, sit back, relax and get ready with me. We can get ready together. I think will be really lovely. So I'm very, very excited. Before I hop into my favorite tan, what tan I'm using, I have honestly a bag in front of me guys of like products I've been loving that I've been needing to share with you, but I just, I honestly have not had like a second to film. So, so many products I want to chat through that I'm honestly obsessed with. I don't know, I just feel like I've found some really good things that are working for me. Before I get into any of that, I am gonna just throw you guys back to a little clip that I previously filmed all about how I remove hair from my body. If you are in the market for an IPL laser hair removal at home device, this next segment, segment of the video is definitely for you. Hello everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. Before we hop into today's video, I wanna jump on here and talk to you all about today's sponsor because this is an item or a product, I should say, that I have been using and loving since the start of summer. So I feel like I've had such a good run with it that it's given me a really good amount of time to come and chat to you guys about it. And I also have a really lovely discount code, which I will leave in the description box below. So firstly, if you immediately know what this product is and you wanna like run to the website and use my code, GYT50 for $50 off this handset. This is the Kenzie IPL handset. Not aware, IPL means intense pulse light, and essentially it is a hair removal device um, that I've been using since the start of summer, and I'm really, really into it. So you have three different attachments that sit on the top of the device like so. You plug it in, it comes with a really long cord, by the way. Like the cord is so, so, so long. Um, so it doesn't matter that it's not like hands-free, it's actually absolutely fine and what i tend to do is turn it on this has various different settings at the start i used it on the lower setting and now as i've got a little bit more comfortable with it um i actually use it on the high setting this is pain free by the way anyone that tells you this is painful is not telling you the truth this does not hurt waxing hurts a thousand times more threading hurts more um oh my gosh the list goes on for hair removal that is more painful than this this does not hurt slightly warm sensation and what i start by doing is i actually do it under my underarms and i literally hold it down like that the light will flash and i move it away this has changed the game for me when it comes to hair removal so i have quite fine hair naturally anyway so i wasn't sure how well this is going to actually work for me but it works really really well consistently Consistency is key with a product like this and it doesn't happen overnight. Consistency is key with a product like this. And what I've noticed is that my hair growth has stopped gradually. So I didn't wake up one day and my hair just stopped growing. It's a gradual process. And bit by bit you'll notice some of the hairs will stop growing through the next time you go to use the laser. Bit by bit you'll notice that the regrowth is less and less, which is honestly just the best thing ever. I way prefer this to shaving. I was a shaving person before, but what I like about this product is you don't have to do it as often, but the hair doesn't grow back as frequently. So I would shave regularly in order to have like smooth, soft skin, whereas I can use the laser and the hair does not grow back in the same way that it does with shaving for like sometimes weeks, sometimes up to two weeks I can get away with um, because of this device. The one thing that I've absolutely loved about this device that I think is so nice is particularly for my underarms and bikini line. So when I shave regularly, I get a lot of like irritation, rashes, ingrown hairs, all of that stuff in those specific areas, which can be quite irritating. And I don't get that with this product. It leaves the skin really, really clean, soft, um, and with no hairs. And it doesn't give you that horrible like rash or 
you know where the skin is irritated which i tended to get with shaving and also waxing if i'm honest waxing used to irritate my skin as well so i am just like newly converted to this and i absolutely love it you get a 12 month warranty with this product and a 90 day money back guarantee so it's kind of a no-brainer i really really think you guys should try it and let me know your thoughts if you haven't yet it's something I've been curious about for the longest time. My mum actually purchased one before I ended up trying this out. And she was calling me and she's like, this is the best thing you need to try it. You need to try it. And then I happened to actually work with Kenzie on this collab, which is really, really nice because it's given me a really long time to try the product as well. I feel like I can get away with the higher settings. These are my underarms right now. Um, and what I'm loving about the Kenzie device is I'm not getting that kind of dark underarm that I feel I used to get a lot with shaving. I would have quite like dark underarms a lot very shadowy i feel like this device is really really helping me with that so this is what i tend to do lift my arm up i'm going to look away just because of the light press down move to a next area press down and i essentially repeat that over the area twice um i need to go over like higher and lower obviously that's how easy it is to use i mean i've got quite a large um, one of the heads on because I just prefer this one it covers more circumference of an area so I tend to use this one love it honestly couldn't live without it it's my new favorite product okay so that is how I am hairless pretty much at the moment using that IPL which I really really am loving and if you guys want an update um, even though I have been using it for so long now because I started using it spring of 2022 but if you want more of an update I can give you one it's transformed my life but I'm going to get into it because I feel like I've got so much to share with you. Let's talk just a couple of my favourite products. I feel like I've got so many and I really don't want to overwhelm you. My favourite shower gel product is this. Um, any of the L'Occitane products I think are amazing, but this is really like my go-to shower product. I have also been using some like lash serums and things. So I've been using these Vegamore Grow Drops. This is my second bottle obsessed with this like stuff like cannot get enough of it i've been using it here i mean i think you guys will probably be able to see the little hairs that i've got growing i by the way i've got a cold sore which is really nice but let's ignore that I'm just so run down at the minute that that's what happens if you get cold sores you will know bane of my life but when i put makeup on we're going to cover it up anyway this stuff i really really enjoy i've been like massaging it in here if any of you guys know i used to wear extensions i wore extensions for close to four years tape extensions they did damage my hair um th look that's not speaking for all types of extensions i feel like i didn't realize it at the time that they were damaging my hair it's only upon reflection that i can see that they were particularly here at the side the tension was just a bit too much for me i have very fine hair i was getting like breakage not even breakage like the hair wasn't growing on this side of my scalp so i've been using these and loving them and then i've been using these like lash serum so i'm not gonna lie i don't know what one is working because i'm using both one is the vegamore lash serum and the other one is the ordinary that i would heard great things about i do think they're working i do think you have to be like crazy consistent with this kind of thing but loving them lip balm is my favorite lip balm the laneige lip balm sorry this isn't a favorite but i just feel like before we get into the glow up glow up i've got so much to chat about and then this if you have damaged hair and you need a product to like change your life please try k18 just get a bottle of it or get a smaller size because it is expensive and test it and then let me know what you think oh my god i love this product i'd heard about it i don't know what it does like the science behind it but it's like fully repairing my hair like i can literally see the difference when i use this um you have to be a bit careful with products that contain a lot of protein because you guys might have seen like the oliflex thing where your hair can snap take that with a grain of salt but this i love i also am obsessed with all philip kingsley products i think if i changed every single hair product in my life to philip kingsley i'd probably have incredible hair it's formulated by trichologists so they literally specialize in uh kind of like alopecia but more like alopecia as a result of like you know extensions wearing your hair in that slick back bun that we all do but any slick hairstyle they say oh my god i literally just broke the toilet seat they say to limit it to like i think once a week or maybe even less than that tension on your head is really not good so by the way i'm not an, an angel and a saint i do all these things but i'm just letting you know what i've read yeah philip kingsley is my new savior this is the uh like detangler spray that i use it's a leave-in conditioner but another product by them that i swear by 
if you're looking for something maybe to put on your Christmas list, ah, oh, here it is, is the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer. Oh my word. Oh my word. You have to try the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer. This partnered with the K18 as like my hair saviors. Yesterday or the day before yesterday, I did use this. This is the Moroccan Oil hyd Hydration Mask. Smells divine. I feel like this would be really nice for the summer if you want a mask that's going to kind of repair a little bit of the damage that you're doing to your hair. Um, I do really like this. I haven't used it enough to give like a proper review. Like, look, I think I've used it twice. So I feel like I need to kind of use it a little bit more, but I do really, really like this as well. And I am also taking these biotin hair gummies again from Vegamore. This is not an ad, by the way, for Vegamore at all. Um, it's not an ad for any of these products. The segment I showed you earlier, that was a sponsored part of the video, but everything from now on is not sponsored. So yeah, I am taking these as well. Let's take one now together. Like you guys can see I'm taking them. Um, I'm taking a lot of supplements at the moment for loads of different things, a lot of vitamins for loads of different things. Um, yeah, that's a whole other story. I feel like I've got, I could talk about my stomach and my gut issues, but I think every girl that I speak to has issues with their gut. I really don't get it. So yeah, right. I think that's everything I wanted to talk through product wise. I don't want to overwhelm you because I feel like when I see people talking about loads of different products, sometimes I just skip. <laughs> so I don't want to like throw too much on you. There's so many more products I can talk about. I mean. Sunday Riley for skincare. I hate to promote really expensive skincare, but this vitamin C serum, if you're gonna buy anything from the brand, buy the vitamin C serum. And I love my Skin and Me. Um, see, my Skin and Me little clicker, Daily Doser. Love this so much. Again, this is not an ad. I do work with the brand, and I have worked with them previously, but this is not an ad. I love Skin and Me products. Um, I pay for the subscription. I get asked that on Instagram, like, I don't understand like you work, you say you pay for the subscription, but you work with them. I pay the subscription every single month because I love Skin and Me and I think they're a really good brand. So yeah, right. Let's get into this glow up. I'm gonna start by tinting my eyebrows. Um, I'm actually using a lash tint. I know, I know, slightly controversial, but I find that this does not make my eyebrows red, but it makes them like a dark brown. So I'm gonna tint my eyebrows using the tint in here. Then I am going to go and just like give my body a good scrub and put a bit of moisturizer in certain spots. And then I'm gonna apply my fake tan. So we can do all these things together, which is really fun. So I have just hopped out the shower because I wanted to shower my body before I put my fake tan on. And I also wanted to like moisture any areas that needed the moisturizer before I apply the tan. Before I apply the tan, I do wanna just share with you what I'm doing with my brows. So yeah, this is a lash tint I'm using on my brows. Someone in the comments is gonna have a field day over it. Look, I've tried the brow tint version of this and it just was too red for me. So I like the, I like the lash tint. So I've applied the activator. I've applied the activator um, and I'm gonna just take that out of my eyebrows and then we're gonna go in with the developer. I go in with the developer. Sorry, I'm kind of off camera here, but I'm taking the little brush they give because I love it. And I'm literally just brushing it through my brows. I am super curious because I did watch a TikTok recently of somebody painting the eyebrow strokes on with a tiny little brush and it looked incredible. So if you have the time and the energy to do that, I would really recommend. I try and go a little bit darker at the tail end of my brow and also just leave it a little bit longer uh, look how funny I look at the tail end of my brow. I feel like my camera is making me look absolutely crazy. So it's just more of an ashy colour, I find, than the... They do like an actual brow tint, this brand, Ilya. I find the brow colour is a little bit red. So if you have like copper or red hair or red undertones, you might love it because the brow tint in the light brown not the dark brown is quite red um but i actually have even though i have quite a fair sort of complexion and my hair is relatively light like the regrowth is relatively light obviously i'm not naturally a bleach blonde um because i have more of those kind of tones that red undertone doesn't work for me i need something with an ashier base so yeah on that side look you can be really good at this and clean it up really really well i'm not going to do that because this is me we're talking about so yeah i literally don't even leave it on that long and i always test it out so i take 
a little bit of a cloth and I literally just go like that through the front of my brow and that's actually enough for me. That is the eyebrow tinted. I need to scrub here at the front of it because I've got it on my skin. But yeah, I just feel like it makes my eyebrows look a little bit better. I mean, I honestly don't have, well, I have eyebrow hairs, but they're so fair that they never show up. And then I'm just gonna do the same. There. I actually need them threaded or I need them waxed. But my girl that used to wax and shape my brows and tint my brows has just moved to Wales. So yeah, I'm in a bit of a rut. If you know anyone based in the Hertfordshire area that does amazing brow shaping and tinting, let me know. But that's the first little step. Next step, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my tan. And I'm gonna use today, guys, uh, a fluc fluctuate between so many bloody tans that I honestly love i'm a tan fan and there's so many brands i adore but i think today i'm gonna use is this one quick developing i don't know if it is so i adore the vita liberata tanning elixir stunning really forgiving very moisturizing which is great for this time of year adore 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 this is like a little bit on the pricier side so if you want to do something that's not as expensive the Sienna X. I love the Sienna X. This is the Express Tan, which I think I am going to use because I need to wash this off before I go out tonight. Um, so I'm going to do this one because it's an Express Tan. Love this. It's a really nice foamy consistency. Again, it's quite moisturizing. It's a vegan product. I love Sienna X. I have worked with them a while ago, actually, on Instagram. But I am such a fan of this tan. I really, really think it's great. And it's probably the best one that I found. It has more of a red undertone. Both of these have more of a red undertone. Now... You will know what I mean if you use tan a lot. Tans will either tend to have like a green or a red undertone or maybe an orange undertone. I think go for whatever your natural skin goes like. So for me, when I tan, my skin actually goes quite red. People ask me if I have fake tan on just because that's kind of the color that my skin tone is. It's not olive. If you're more olive based in your undertones, you might prefer to go for those tans that are slightly more green on the scale. It sounds a lot scarier than it is, but like the Saint Tropez, they're a tan that I really like, but they definitely have more of an olive undertone. Whereas these have more of a red undertone, that helps. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Sienna X. I'm gonna pop a little bit of moisturizer onto my knees, palms of my hands, all those places. And I'm literally just gonna use a mitt and tan. So I'm gonna turn my camera off for that bit because you guys don't need to see. Now I'm about to fake tan this top section. So, top section, this top half of my body. Ignore my hair right now, I look like a crazy person. So I literally get my mitt, spray my Sienna. I look quite heavy with this because I'm washing it off. So that's why I'm going in quite heavy. If I was gonna sleep in this, which I have slept in this Express Tan before, because it brings me out in the nicest color, um, I probably wouldn't go in as like much as I am. But because I know I'm washing it off, I'm going in a little bit more. Then obviously I'll be back to show you guys how I'm gonna do. We can do our makeup together, we can do our hair together, and we can get dressed for tonight, which I'm really looking forward to. It's a House of CB event. It will be in my first Vlogmas episode. So you guys will see me at the event if you do wanna see like the rest of this vlog in a way, not just the getting ready portion, but this bit is just the get getting ready portion because I haven't filmed one of these in so long. Look at the color of it. Oh, that's not with none and that's with some. I might even layer this up. Honestly, love the Sienna tan. It is one of my favorites. I'm gonna do a bit of tan on my face as well. I've just washed my face, so it's looking a little bit flushed. Okay, so I look absolutely crazy right now, but I've got my fake tan on. Honestly, I know I know this looks wild, so just trust the process, guys. I look like I've got a beard, hence why I'm covering up my face. I actually look like I've got a beard. But trust the process. We're gonna wash this off in a couple of hours, and then we're gonna start the makeup and hair transformation. Hey guys, so I've just washed off that layer of tan. Now, it is a really nice color, but I think I'm still gonna add a little bit of Sally Hansen Express Tan, just because, annoyingly, I literally had to leave it on for an hour because I've just been, I didn't have the time to put it on last night, which is really annoying. We're gonna start the makeup. I'm gonna start up with this Kiko Primer. Let's make the skin super radiant. For my T-Zone, though, another Kiko product. Their primers I really enjoy. It is a CC Blur Primer. By the way, sorry if I'm looking over there. The only mirror that I have is this huge mirror on my right hand side. It's like this, it reminds me a little bit of the Poor Professionals and I know that primer has a really extreme reactions. People either adore it or they absolutely bloody hate it. I probably wouldn't recommend using something like this every day because I can see how it could potentially sort of clog the pores. But every now and again for a bit of night out glam, 
I do like a primer that kind of hides the pores a little bit in the T-zone. This is such a dupe for that professional primer. I'll start with the Charlotte Tilbury. I always forget what this is called and it's rubbed off. This is in the shade 2.5, so I only use this here. I literally use it on the high points of my face, a little bit down the bridge of my nose, but that's the only area I use that one. My next one of these, I go in with the shade six and I use it like a contour. Now you could mix the two and the six together, obviously to get maybe more of a color that would probably go better with my skin color. But I like to just kind of apply them in different areas. I feel like it adds a bit of glow. I am gonna dab on a tiny bit of corrective concealer. So this is very orange because it's a correcting concealer under the eyes get rid of some of those blue tones under the eyes and i also do put a little bit over the eyelid because i've quite a lot of discoloration over my eyelids now i've just added a little bit of concealer that i'm literally blending out and i went in with my l'oreal true match foundation again excuse the neck to face color difference i'm gonna add a little bit of fake tan to the neck and decolletage because I do not have a foundation that seems to match me at the moment. Honestly, overnight, I feel like I've just lost my regular tan I had from the summer. I'm going in with this cream bronzer. This is from Refine, this is in the shade Tan. Now this is too dark for me. I actually want the shade Sand, but it's sold out in Selfridges every time I go to buy it. So I just use the tiniest amount of this shade Tan because it's super pigmented and it's definitely a little bit too warm for me. Okay, so now I've done a little bit of eye makeup. I literally just did some browns, some eyeliner. I'm not gonna go into it, guys. I am not a professional makeup artist, as I'm sure we've all concluded. But I've, I did this makeup recently for a wedding and a few of you were like, oh my God, what did you use? Like, how did you do your makeup? So I thought I would just show you here because honestly, this can make anyone a makeup artist, I swear. These are the Stila... They're like glitter and glow. They're called glitter and glow eyeshadow things. They're not cheap, but I do think they're great. This is in the shade Kiss and Karma. You can actually buy these at M&S, by the way. And after I've done my makeup, I literally take the little brush and I tap the glitter all over my eye. I add a pair of lashes. Um, this is this amazing Dior Backstage one that I love. Just a little tap, tap. Like so. Uh, obviously I've not done my lips and I need to spray setting spray and all my mists to kind of make this look a little bit more natural and dewy. Um, but I've just powdered so that's why it's still looking a bit matte. I'm gonna go ahead and add all of my sprays and I'm gonna save my lips. And I always do my lips at the end just because I feel like it comes off. So yeah, this is the eye makeup. Hair around your crown, hair around your crown. And then gently pull on the bottom to create a swoop over your ear and then bring it across. Okay, so this is the hair. I'm gonna have to watch this back to see how it actually looks. Because Leon's telling me it looks good, but. I thought you were talking to me then, sorry. I think oh, it's. Wait. Leon's telling me it looks good. I don't know if he's being honest there. Does it look a bit scruffy? Right, I'm gonna do my lipstick because I'm gonna film for you guys and I wanna finish off this get ready with me. Well, I won't finish it until I've got my dress on, but the lip liner I'm using is the NYX liner in the shade i have no idea ignore that horrible scab on my mouth okay the nice thing about this liner is it blends in with the color of the scab so there we go the center i'm going to use the huda beauty lip contour this is in the shade honey beige i love this they twist up so you don't need a sharpener and i'm going to fill in the middle for lipsticks lip glosses okay i'm going to use the butter gloss in the shade creme brulee it's very pink, so it'll make this look a bit more. Oh, why is it not focusing? Pinky, there we go. Like that. It's still quite brown. I don't like how brown it is. I'm gonna take this off, I think. It's just too brown, isn't it? Hmm. Okay guys, so this is the after. 
Okay, so this is the after. I will insert a little clip on the screen of the full outfit so you guys can actually see the full fit the dress is from house of cb um it's super pretty it has this like black lace i'm really glad i got to wear this dress because i actually purchased this for a wedding and didn't end up getting to wear it so now i'm off out to an event tonight and it means that i can actually wear this dress which is very exciting um i've just got all my monica vanilla jewelry on i do have my really nice cartier bracelet but i need to go and get the screwdriver that i've put away somewhere to get it on so that's a bit annoying these earrings, someone asked me about them the other day and they're actually from Kate Spade, but the outlet, but I'm sure there'll be some similar ones online. I haven't put my rings on really yet. I've just got this one from Monica Vineta, but I am gonna pop my other rings on in a minute. And yeah, this is the outfit for shoes. I'm gonna style it up with these Boohoo little pointed heels. I just feel like they're classic, go with everything. I'm using my mum's handbag tonight. Um, it's the handbag that you guys see in the cutaways, not the bag I actually used. I'm using my mum's handbag. That is the look. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. Um, I'm gonna go, cause I'm late, but this event tonight will be captured on my Vlogmas episode number one. So make sure you're tuned in for Vlogmas cause you guys will see the first episode there. I also have a Primark haul coming this weekend. I'm so sorry. I literally have not had a minute to edit and upload that, but I promise it's coming this weekend. And I got some incredible bits from Primark. So yeah, lots of content coming your way. So I will keep you guys posted. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Huge shout out to Kenzie for working with me on it. Thank you guys so, so much. I'll leave all of their links below if you do want to check them out. Um, and if you've got any questions about the IPL, just feel free to message me on Instagram and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.